I did carry on at a mainstream school. So introduction, remember, is the title. I mean, I had great friends and, and very good teachers too, you know. They wore a little microphone and then I would receive their sound through my hearing aids. Then at the end of the play, because remember you're going to have to show how the relationships change. They had a very strong music department and I was quite eager to find something else to go alongside my piano playing. I thought, well, percussion kind of looks interesting. Maybe I'll try that. Okay, you go on this side. You go on this side, because you're right-handed. So just very gently, nothing has to be loud at all, but just the process of coming against the drum and moving away. So it's just like hauling the sound out of the drum. Just, just <laughs> try it. Yeah, well, do, just give it a go. There we go and just feel the body come against the drum and move out. It's like sort of body movement and sound at the same time. Great, yeah, no, it's great. Because interestingly, you know, even if we strike the drum so soft from the side, we actually see the skin move. You try. This time, if we put our hand on the actual shell and take note of what you're feeling through the hand, through the arm, and we strike the drum. You try. And there it ends. So what was happening? Um, I could feel it. Where did you feel it? Can you be more um, exact? Going up my arm. Eventually, I discovered that by taking the hearing aids off, that in fact I'd actually hear less through the ear, but hear more through the body. And so therefore my teacher, percussion teacher, um, whom I met when I was um, 12 years old, he began to basically suggest, I mean, he was learning as much as I was, suggest that, you know, I place my hand on the wall of the, the room which he taught in. And he would play, for example, two very old hand-tuned timpani or kettle drums. And um, he would tune them to big intervals apart. And he, I place my hand on the wall and he would do the same. And he would strike one drum and he would ask, where are you feeling that particular drum? I can feel that from here and it's going all the way down my hand. And then he would play the other drum. So where are you feeling that? So maybe here and down here, this part. And then gradually he would lessen the interval so that the, the minutest difference was possible to detect. But it was the beginning of really using the body as some kind of resonating chamber. Was there the same feeling when you... Um, not really. Now, why is this, do you think? Um, when I hit that one in my hand on there, I could feel it covering my whole hand. Right. But this one, I can just feel it under the cover. Come here a wee bit, yeah. We can feel this for an audience member, for a listener. I strike it, they may hear it, and then they may no longer hear it. For us, however, we've got our hand on the drum, we strike it, we can see, we can feel, we've had the process of striking it. Meanwhile, we're hearing the sound because we're feeling the sound far longer than an audience member. Do you see what I mean? So, in fact, we're hearing more. <laughs> I will sit there because I will play. Sometimes I put my tummy against the edge of the drum just to feel a little more connected with the sound. So, just to say, you can you can just do whatever you want to do. So if you take your hearing aids off and then and then also, if you if you want to then put them back in and just to. No, I feel it. You'll feel it. No problem. <laughs> okay.